Today we're making the connection between Facebook and KV Core. Now the reason we're making this video is because the interface on Facebook has changed, the interface on KV Core has changed, the interface on the software that we'll end up using, which is API Nation has changed. There's been changes all the way through. So I wanted to go ahead and make this video and share with you exactly how to make the connection. So with that being said, let's get going. I'm gonna share my screen. And first we need to understand what we're talking about. Whenever we're making the connection between Facebook and KB Core, it's important to understand that what we're connecting is a lead form, which can only be done through the lead generation campaign. So let me repeat that again. Whenever you hear, hey, integrate your Facebook to KB Core, make the integration between Facebook ads and KB Core, we're talking about the lead generation campaign. So this is one of the 11 campaign, but, uh, campaign objectives that you can make that you can create through your Facebook ads. So it's just one of them. So just have that understanding. So if you're looking to make the connection between a traffic campaign and KV Core, you're looking in the wrong place because the traffic campaign actually sends it to a landing page, a website, um, somewhere external. So this is what we're talking about. So a lead generation campaign, which create forms. And I went ahead and show you right here what that looks like. So these are forms. So this is what one can look like. I'll just duplicate it so you see it. You see some information right here when you're asking for their name, their email, their phone number, and whatever other item you're looking for, this is a form. Then this can only be created through the lead generation campaign. So just make sure that you are aware of that so you know what you're connecting. So it's very important that you understand the differences. So again, when you're connecting your Facebook ads, the Facebook over to KV Core, you need to create a lead generation campaign and then two, you need to create this form, which you're gonna ultimately connect back with. So you see here, Dallas just listed YouTube copy. So that is what I'm using right here. This is a form that, I, that I'm creating. All right, so with that being said, I think we have the basic gist. Let's go over to KV Core and see what we're talking about. Now, the reason that we wanna make the connection at the, at the end of the day is because we want to automate a part of our workflow. We wanna gain our time back. And in order to do that, whenever we launch the campaign over on Facebook and we start generating leads and start generating a good amount of uh, contacts, we don't want to manually come into KV Core and put in the name, the email, and the phone number, and all that other stuff. We want this to be done immediately and automatically. So then emails can go out, texts can go out, tasks can be created so we're reminded to follow up with our leads we want that already in our system ready to go. So we don't wanna to have to log into Facebook as soon as a lead comes in and then find that number, type it into our phone and then call. We just don't wanna do that. So that is why we're doing this. Now, I wanna just show you the shell of how this happens before I actually show you the integration. Now, you may be thinking, well, Jaime, man, this is turning out to be a long video. It's necessary because you have to understand the different you have to understand where everything is coming from in order if you, in order for you to troubleshoot anything down the road if things change within kv core again if things change within facebook you have to have this understanding so having this principle this fun, foundational understanding is extremely important so let's just take the whole case study of i launched a facebook campaign and so it's a lead generation campaign which has a form and i'm collecting names emails and phone numbers now whenever i run that campaign, I want my leads to receive a list of homes, or I want my uh, my leads to receive additional information on property that I'm advertising. How does that happen? Well, number one is you're gonna come here to the marketing center, you're gonna go to Smart Campaigns, which is already highlighted right there, so I'll show you all marketing real quick. So you see that the interface has changed quite radically. Um, so that's the Smart Campaign. I'm sorry, you're, that's the all marketing, but we're gonna go to Smart Campaigns and you're gonna see templates right here. The templates is an email that you create. So whenever you go to add template, you create an email. This is what you can do. You can create, you can see it doesn't really, doesn't really look great. <laughs> so although it's a new interface, it's not perfect. You can use the advanced editor, which is gonna show a little bit different. There we go, that's a lot better. So you can start making your first email, make it pretty and all that fun stuff, right? So anyway, you're going to name your template and you're going to name the subject. So a subject that your people are going to see, the leads are going to see. So you're going to create a template. You're going to create as many templates as you want, which means as many emails as you plan to send. You can do the same thing with your text. You can create a 
text template, a task template, a call template, all that fun stuff. So first you're going to create the templates. So these are emails that you're going to send out, but it, it think of it like you're creating the um, ingredients or you're gathering the ingredients. When you put everything together, you're going to do that on the campaign section. So here, when you create a campaign, now you're pulling in the, now you're creating um, essentially the, you're, you're going to start creating the recipe, putting everything in together. So you see, start a campaign, win, a lead is new, lead is transferred, hashtag is specific data curse. So when you go to hashtag is, you can put um, YouTube video. So whenever this hashtag gets triggered and you're going to see how to add this trigger here in a bit, um, you're going to go to next. That's going to be a buyer lead. You're going to name that campaign YouTube video, and then just going to put description. You can go to next You can go to finish. All right. So you see YouTube video right here. Actually, I have two of them. How does that happen? <laughs> All right. So this is actually good because I messed up right here. So I actually put a hashtag. So it's double hashtag. Forget that I did that here. This is what we're going to look for. This is what's going to actually launch the sequence. So it's going to actually launch this one the way that I'm going to show you as opposed to this one. So forget I typed that in. All right. So once you um, once you go ahead and create this campaign, uh, let's just pretend that never happened. Once you go through and create this cam uh, this campaign, when you click on it, you see everything is already programmed the way that I want it. So I added an action. So I added an email, added a text, and I put when I wanted it to send out. So you see here, this is my first email. Um, this sends out immediately. Then in minute four, that happens. Minute three, that happens. Day one, that happens. Day two, that happens. So you see all this stuff right here. So again, just giving you the very basic blueprint before we go and make the connection. Now I want to go and make the connection so you understand what we're doing this, what we're doing this. Now, this is an automatic sequence that's going to be launched. You don't have to create an automatic sequence. You don't need to start a drip campaign. You don't need to start any of this. You can just have them come into KV core and then you take over from there. But the beauty of this is that you have the ability to create certain actions beyond that. So now we're going to make that connection. We're going to go to marketplace. And we're going to use this software called API Nation. So API Nation is a free way for you to connect Facebook to KV Core. So remember our lead generation campaign, which we're going to have a lead form there. That's what we're pulling the information from into KV Core. And we're using API Nation to do this. Now there is another way, which is through Zapier. And I'll make sure that I link that up here somewhere. So you see the Zapier way to connect. But for our purposes today, we're just going to make the connection right here. So we're going to go to that. We're going to put in our contact information or our login information. And now what you're going to do is you're going to sync KV core and Facebook lead ads. That's the entire thing that we're doing. Now, since I already have the connection made here, there's nothing really for me to do. However, I want you to see how it's going to look for you. So I'm going to connect another Facebook lead account. And if you made it to this part of this video, this shows that you are really serious in trying to make this connection. So I want to help you out as much as possible. You can continue as Jaime Resendez, which is going to be your personal profile. And that's, that's what's going to happen. That's what you need. However, if you have multiple Facebook business pages, hear me out, please. If you have multiple Facebook business pages and you do not have at least one form within those Facebook business pages, it's going to error out. So I hope that you caught that. So I want to make sure that you win. I want you to make sure that you have all the information because it can get frustrating if things are not aligned um, that the way that they should. So thankfully now I have a direct relationship with API Nation so I can reach out to the developers. I can reach out to the developers of KB Core. I can have all of my personal questions and all of my real estate team's questions addressed very quickly. But not everybody has that luxury. So I want you to learn from the mistakes and the headaches that I've had. So just want you to make sure that you're aware of that. So again, if you have multiple Facebook business pages, each one of them at least have to, has to have one lead form within it. Now, here's the thing. If that is not possible, so if you um, if you have, let's just say 20, you don't have to, um, you don't have to connect all of them. So that's when you're going to have to go to edit settings. 
and you're gonna select, as you can see here, I have 97 pages connected. Now, all this is gonna be blurred out, hopefully, so um, Jasper, please blur everything out. But um, as you can see here, I have 97 pages connected and I don't have a lead form within each one of these. So I'm only gonna connect one of these pages through API Nation because if I don't do it that way, then it's gonna air everything out. So I'm gonna just scroll down because I already have the one that I need. And you're gonna see all this is gonna be blurred out, but you're gonna also need to access all of this and put it to yes. And now you're gonna have made that connection. So now you're linked up from API to API Nation to Facebook. And now it's gonna ask you, all right, what page? Well, we want that page. All right, what lead form do you wanna connect? We wanna connect the Cleburne one as that, that example. I think that's the one that we were doing or we were doing a YouTube one. I think it was this one. That's the one that we were talking about. So what you see now is we selected the page. So again, I only selected one page. The lead forms, this is the one that I wanna, so this is the lead form that I'm using from this particular campaign. Now I want to start the sync. This looks a little bit different than what you've used to seeing from API Nation. They wanna make this as simple as possible. And in that effort, they made it a little bit more complicated for you and I, but it's easy to solve. So here you see, congratulations, your sync has started successfully. So to view the sync you've purchased is click here. So now what we're, where we're at at the moment is, is you see these three little dots, you see my sync right here. So I could have easily gone to that and gone to my syncs, which is the same place. But what you're seeing now is the Facebook lead ads in KV Core. However, all of these are named the same. <laughs> so you have to make sure that the ones that you don't are, that ones that you're not using and you're gonna get confused, delete those right away. For me, this is not gonna be an issue because I already know kind of where to go to get my, my information. But the lead ads, this is the one that we just activated. So you can see this is my name. You're gonna have the lead gen form and then the mapping. So it does the mapping for us. You see first name, email, phone number. It's already done the mapping. Now, again, API Nation did this to make this simple, uh, uh, simplify it. However, it made it a little bit more complicated because now we have to go through an additional step and make that connection. So we have to go over here to our add a custom and then we're gonna put the hashtag. And remember that hashtag that I made a mistake and actually added another like actual hashtag and then I put YouTube. Well, we're not gonna use that one, but we're gonna use the one that has only one hashtag. So we're gonna use hashtag and I'm gonna put YouTube. I believe that's the hashtag that, that I was using. So once this lead comes in through this form, it's going to map to KB Core and it's gonna attach this hashtag to it. So I'm gonna add this hashtag right here. I'm gonna click on that. I'm gonna go to the note section. And what I've done now is, as you can see here, there's a custom one and it's attached to a note. What I've done now is I've told KB Core, hey KB Core, as soon as you get these leads from this lead form, I want you to map the first name to the first name, email to the email, phone number to the phone number, hashtag to the note section, which that's gonna add the hashtag that I need, which is gonna be what launches the emails and the text and the everything else that I created. So that's how you formulate everything. So I know that we went through an incredible journey together. I just needed you to understand this from the very beginning. Remember, we're running a lead generation campaign, which in turn creates a lead form that we are pulling the information from. So then we have to go over here and create a, a template over on KB Core, which is an email or a text, whatever you plan to send, which now needs to be created under a campaign. So the campaign is what's actually going to initiate everything. And we told the campaign, hey campaign, whenever a hashtag that says YouTube is, um, is imported in here, then I want you to send out this email, this text, this whatever. And this, at the, the culmination of everything is this connection right here. You have three steps. Number one, create your Facebook uh, campaign. Number two, create your drip campaign over on KV Core, which is called the smart campaign on KV Core. And then number three, connect it via API Nation. So these are the entire steps. If there's any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. Also, now would be a fantastic time to describe for more information just like this. 
and even more advanced. So any um, any subscriptions and any notification, uh, turning on of the notification bell is greatly appreciated. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.